this is a fabulous 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 set and so take it all in because this is the, the data here is so it's stuff to wrap the head around right 10 players are listed in the table below participated 10 players as listed in the table below a b c d e f g h i j thank god participate in a rifle shooting competition comprising 10 rounds not comprising of each round had six participants players numbered 1 through 6 participated in round 1 1 2 3 4 5 6 participated in round 1 2 through 7 in round 2 2 to 7 3 to 8 4 to 9 5 to 10 and then 6 to 10 and 1 so six cyclic 7 to 10 1 2 and so on so it'll be 8 9 10 1 2 3 9 round 9 will be 9 10 1 2 3 4 round 10 will be 10 1 2 3 4 5 it says points after round 6 points after round 10 and amita the first player would have played in round 1 And then round two, three, four, five, she wouldn't have played. Because two to seven is one round, three to eight is one round, four to nine, five to ten, in none of that Amita plays. And then back to round six, round seven, round eight, round nine, round ten. Bala would have played in round one, round two. And then round 7, round 8, round 9, round 10, and so on. We can make those um, inferences. And very clearly, step by step, we can make those inferences. This is the total points after round 1, total points after round 10. Now, how is the scoring system? The top 3 performances in each round were awarded 7, 3, and 1 point, respectively. Wonderful. 7, 3, and 1. There were no ties in any of the 10 rounds. So there is a 7, the 3 and the 1. The table above gives the total number of points obtained by the 10 play players after round 6 and round 10. The following information is known about rounds 1 through 6. Gordon did not score consecutively in any two rounds. Eric and Fatima both scored in a round. The following information is known about rounds 7 through 10. Only two players scored in three consecutive rounds. One of them was Chen. No other player scored in any two consecutive rounds. Okay, okay, interesting. Two half streaks of three, three rounds. Nobody scored in all four. Joshin scored in round seven. And Amita scored in round ten. A lot of information to take in. We'll have to continuously keep looking at the table. And then making our inferences. So I'm going to capture the table. And so round one, round two, round three, all the way till round ten. You know, Amita scored in round one, round six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And so points after round six is eight. Then round one and round six, this should be seven plus one in some form. Right? Seven eight nine ten that last four rounds is played in all four giving him 10 points it cannot be three 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 one because nobody scores in everything so be seven three one we can make inferences like this for each player and so no, we need to have a, a plan for this and we cannot just go making each of these inferences let's look at the constraints and cotton did not score consecutively in any two rounds now, Gordon has scored 17 points after round 6. Gordon is going to play in rounds 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. He's not going to be there in round 1. So, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. In these 6, he gets 17 points. Round 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. He gets 17 points and then he doesn't do get anything here. In round 7, he doesn't score anything. Did not score in consecutively any two rounds. Or what does it tell us? Brilliant. It tells us clearly that 17 is a big number. He's getting in three matches only. 
maximum of three. So he has to have scored a, this has to be a seven, seven, three. That means he's not scoring in round three. He's not scoring in round five. Rounds two, four and six. Gordon is first in two, four and six. First, first, second in two, four and six. This is Gordon. I'm not saying is second. I'm saying Gordon is there in round two, round four, round six. Two sevens and a three sitting there. Right. Now, the seven is a, is a, is a big number. And so, so, some of these guys have never come first. Bala has not come first in the first round. Not fun, come first ever. Chen has not come first. David has not come first. Eric has not come first. Patima could have come first. Gordon has come first. Hansa, Ikea, they have not come first. At a stretch, there's only Fatima and Gordon. Very interesting. Very interesting in friends. So round two and round four. Round four, round six. One of two of these three, Gordon has come first. Round two, if you look at it, that is two, three, six, three, ten, seventeen. Only two possibilities. Fatima and Gordon could have come first. Round three, again only Fatima and Gordon. Round four, again only Fatima and Gordon. So rounds two, three, four, the first places have to be Fatima and Gordon. Fatima could have come first only in one of them. So she should have come first in round three. And Gordon should have come first in round two and round four. And round six, Gordon is second. The, the, the seven point thing, it's a giant number, a large, large, large leap, seven, one, three, and then seven. So seven could be a brilliant starting point. And there's a 17 sitting here. This is given us that Gordon has won this, has won this, has come second in this, and Fatima has come first in this. And let's look at one, two, three, four, five, six, the first round. Round one, one of these guys has got seven points, not Fatima or A should be here. That means in round six, A should be third. Now let's look at Joshin. Joshin has got 14 points. This looks like it is seven plus seven. After round six, he's got 14 points. He wouldn't have played in round one, two, three, four. Because four to nine is one round. He's played only in rounds five and six. Both of them he has won. J. J. Brilliant. So we've accounted for a bunch of these first place finishes. Let's fill all of those in. And now I'm going to chase all the first positions. This we already know is A. We know these are GG and G, two Joshes. Now, Eric has gone from three points to 10 points. There's a plus seven here. After round six, so Eric would have been there in round one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, not in six. And then in round 10, 10, one, two, three, four, five. After round six, Eric is not in round 7, round 8 or round 9. Only in round 10, Eric is playing. Or round 10 is won by Eric. Now, Ikea goes from 2 to 17. In 4 rounds. The 7, 8, 9, 10. Ikea will be there in round 7, round 8 and round 9. Will not be there in round 10. And IKEA will be present in rounds 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. The 7, 8, 9, these three rounds alone account for 17. Or this is or account for 15. This is 7, 7, 1 from IKEA in R7, R8, R9. Brilliant. R7, R8, R9. This is 7, 7, 1. And so, out of these three, Ikea has won two of those. Who should have won the last one? That should be Amita.
when but amita could have won any one of these three it could be i i a i a i a i i all three are possible at least that's how it looks right now maybe we'll figure out some detail later on right we filled in eric thanks so eric is first in r10 first in two out of r7 r8 and r9 the other one is going to be amita and so here this i i a in some order right now let's look at the other things we've almost filled all the seven pointers now come to bala bala has played round 1 and round 2 would not have played round 3 4 5 6 he's played round 7 8 9 10 10. round 1 and round 2 you got two points this is this is bala this is bala chen has gone from he's played after round 6 he would have played in rounds 1 2 and 3 and then not played in round 4 round 5 round 6 round 7 played in rounds 8 9 10 brilliant he goes he gets 3 points in the first 3 rounds 3 points in the last 3 rounds we also know that only two players scored in three consecutive rounds one of them was shen so shen has scored in three consecutive rounds from 7 through 10 he plays only 8 9 10 be shen 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 one 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 this is filling out quite nicely and so we filled out the top row the seven points row we know the missing three are i i and a in some order we do not yet know the order and so uh, we know that ikea in in rounds r7 r8 r9 as i i 7 7 1 in some order we don't know which order 7 7 1 is how, how that is going to be fine so far so good we've compiled all the basic information now let's see where else weakness sits fine so eric joshin scored in round 7 well amita scored in round 10 amita scored in round 10 amita should have been here okay Joshin scored in round 7 Joshin goes from 14 to 17 in 7 8 9 10 in round 7 he scored it cannot be 1 1 1 so Joshin should be here J okay. Joshin scored in round 7 this should be J and Amita scored in round 10 this should be A Right. Amita has scored eight points. So this should be A. I already put that in. Ike has scored seventeen. So seven, seven, one in some order. R seven, R eight, and R nine. R eight and R nine. The one is taken. Or uh, this should be I here. I here. I here. This should be A. Now we can consolidate. The seven rows are completely filled. Amita scored 8 points after the first 6 rounds yeah that's accounted for 18 totally that's also accounted for Amita is totally accounted for Bala scored 2 points after round 6 and then 5 so R7 R8 R9 R10 R7 R8 R9 R10 so in this one of these two Bala has got second in r8 or r9 chen has got ccc and in the first three rounds he should have one second place position david first round one of the first four rounds he scored 6 round 9 round 10 he's got nothing 1 2 3 4 and then 9 10 he plays 1 2 3 4 he couldn't have got 6 once he couldn't have got 3 1 1 1 1 Not possible. There's no there's no room for three ones for David. So he's got two second positions in round one to round four. Eric has got a three and a seven. So Eric has got a seven here. After round six, he's got three points. It's got to be one second position thing. So he's participating in round one to five. that all three can be e 
which looks unlikely or there could be one second position thing so so far we are not getting anywhere brilliant this these two one third position and two third positions that could give us something so let's chase that ik has got two second position the first six rounds after round 6 ik would not have played in round 1 1 to 6 2 to 7 3 to 8 none of that 4 to 9 5 to 10 6 to 1 these three ik would have played so 4 5 and 6 he's got two ones or this is i this is i now we can move to hansa hansa has got one third place finish starting from round 2 sorry round 3 onwards till round 6 he's got one so this has got to be h we know that fatima and eric both scored in a round so there is fatima here this should be eric but now we are almost done so now we know that david has two three three points in two rounds in r1 r2 r4 chen has three points in one round from r1 and r2 so david in two rounds chen in one round in in r1 r2 and r4 out of r1 and r2 chen has one out of r1 r2 and r4 david has three or this has to be david out of these two one is chen the other is david what should this be uh, fatima has a one seven point finish in round fatima six round one to six she has one seven point thing so this has got to be fatima and finally this is c slash d d slash c one of those two is david the other is shen but a brilliant 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 set it's it's very useful to work with either the sevens first or fill in whatever you know easily first and then work around that very challenging very time consuming very challenging very time consuming and i noticed that we have not yet filled these two i thought we had filled this part completely let's look at this so there is got to be r8 and r9 round 8 and round 9 one of those has to be bala who's got a third place finish bala would play in round 8 and round 9 it's not shen it's not david who else hansa hansa gets a one second place finish hansa is going to be there in round 8 but not in round 9 So this is Hansa. The remaining part is Bala. Brilliant. Now we have filled the entire thing. Very challenging set. We worked with seven pointers first, and then went step by step, step by step, step by step to complete everything. Now we have filled the entire grid. This question should be the question should be should be solvable, but very 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 challenging set. what were the scores of chen david and eric respectively after round 3 after round 3 chen has one second place finish three points david has one second place finish three points eric has one second place finish three points nothing else nobody is in the first place nobody is in the third place 3 3 3 is the answer done which three players were in the last three positions after round 4 after round 4 in round 1 1 to 6 will play in round 2 2 to 7 will play in round 3 3 to 8 will play in round 4 4 to 9 will play are the person in 10th position has not even played that is j j is at 0 and so j is definitely there joshin is definitely there this choice is out this choice is out after that i is likely to be there which is there in both choices i has got one last place finish nothing else then h is likely to be there it is between hansa and bala hansa has got one last place finish bala has got two so hansa it is h i j these guys are likely to have played the least number of games joshin has not played any game i guess played only one hansa has played only two 
therefore they are likely to be the suspects which have got least number of points which player scored points in maximum number of rounds joshin joshin has been in r5 r6 started only from r5 r5 r6 r7 r8 r9 r10 is where joshin played round 7 also nowhere else 3 shen shen is here here and three places here four i i is here in these two this this and this five oh i think we have a winner ankita a is present in 1 2 3 4 only four i cast present in five different rounds that's the answer we are looking for which player scored points in the last round e a c a b c a c d a e j a c e the right answer once you've got the grid the questions are very easy but otherwise a very 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 challenging question wonderfully challenging question <laughs>